Oh, hello guys, this is Next, and welcome to the next tutorial. Today I would like to show how to um, use some Windows Forms tools in combination with DirectX, uh, simply due to the fact that we are using a Windows uh, a program, or DirectX, in a Windows form in a windowed mode and not in full screen. Um, we, it would be neat to use some standard tools provided for Windows Forms, and I'm gonna show you how this works today. So first, what I still need to do is I would like to change the turn speed, just as a side note. And yeah, we have this Windows form here and I'm gonna create now a menu strip. Uh, but first, if I would like to use this whole stuff with a bigger menu with buttons and everything, uh, one of the best methods is of course just create a panel and only present the um, DirectX stuff inside this panel and it's very easy we simply have to tell the device to simply paint everything into this panel and it would do so already so the panel which are DirectX stuff and we could create whatever we want all around I'm not gonna do that for this program so I'm gonna remove it but uh, what I would like to do is uh, creating a menu strip over here, yeah, I have a menu strip. I could also create buttons, it works then the very same way, you have to consider the same things if you paint it on top of the uh, DirectX used Windows form. So I name it this one menu and in that menu I gonna load a hide map and I also want to reset it back to zero height. What this is, uh, I explain in the next tutorial. For now, I just created that you can see it's a, it's a, it's a menu. And here, uh, I'm going to do some uh, properties. And I just here want to change the fill mode. Fill mode. And there are three different fill modes. One is solid. One is wireframe, and one is point. That's the three options. And I also would like to change the background color or the device color, or back buffer color, however we name it. So once I do that, the same would uh, be with um, once I create a button over here. It will not be drawn. Let's just put the button there just for showing. It will not be drawn in our um, program. So as soon as I repaint it though, so as soon as I move it for instance, it will be here. Uh, same with the menu. But once I start the program, it's not there. And yeah, it kind of sucks. So what do we have to do? Uh, simply where we are in our on paint loop, however we paint this whole thing, however we created this loop, there are different methods. Simply in the end, after we presenting and putting our uh, device, the back buffer kind of uh, data onto our Windows forms into the that's a shit, we, we, we simply have to update uh, the, the menu strip. Menu strip one that uh, update will do us the trick. Same for the button. Button one dot update. You and it's showing properly. So very nice. I don't wanna keep that button, so I'm gonna remove it quickly. So button is gone. And the next thing which I would like to do is. Uh, changing the fill mode. So come on, here it is. So first let's go into the solid, let's go into the wireframe and into the point. Why is it not showing me? Uh, did it create it? Apparently the solid did create it. Ha, here we are. Um, I would like to change the wireframe for that. So I go on the top and define a variable. I call it uh, private fill mode. Uh, let's call it fill 
mode and close fill mode dot wireframe that's our standard and simply wherever uh, where the setup camera where is it setup camera here we define the render state and we replace this one with the variable and down in our um, tool strip menu once we click on solid it should change this uh, fill mode into fill mode dot solid Plus, I would like to have this one uh, checked. So, solid two strip menu dot checked is true. And what is the other wireframe? Two strip menu dot checked equals false. And also that point so dot checked equals false. So, uh -huh. why does it not create my I double click into it and it does not create the it's not creating them. I don't know why. Let's check form designer. It's apparently edit. Yo, that's weird. So we have to type it in apparently. There we go. Let's copy this whole thing and frame to strip menu and a second time this was the point point normally you just have to double click into it I don't know why it didn't do anything maybe I messed something up earlier so this one we have to set into wireframe it apparently created the event handler still properly so dot point and also this so we have to replace with false and this one is here true uh, this one is false and this one is true so let's see fill mode solid and it changes the whole fill mode into solid during the running of the program here the point it shows us all the vertices as single points and back to wireframe and it also checks here what is selected at the moment yo that's how to basic the, the, the basic usage of it and now I would like to additionally show how to use some Windows form dialogs or a color dialog here we're gonna use a color dialog so once I Oh, come on, why does it not man? Ah, here it created it at least, but it doesn't put my focus onto it. Oh, whatever. Okay, here I would like to create a color uh, dialog. Let's call it CD equals new color dialog. And what I'm showing now works also with message boxes and whatever. Um, Okay, I'm gonna show this color dialog. Uh, CD dot uh, show dialog, and we wanna show it in this. Yeah. So, and once I show this dialog, I would like to. Once I show this dialog. I check once I click on the dialog result. Okay, so as soon as I click the OK button, uh, do something. And therefore, I would need now another variable where I save the background color. Let's call it private color. Um, 
background color um, equals color art black. No, I don't have black. That's our standard. And wherever we clear the device, um, it's done in the paint method. Here, instead of setting it here for the color, we're gonna put the variable in uh, the in yeah in the device clearing uh, function. Okay, and now let's get on. Here, we set the background color to the color from our color dialog. So, and what? gonna happen it would be pretty cool if it would work already but sadly it will not as soon as I uh, change the color now our window is getting totally disabled and yeah the color dialog is not showing so what's the problem I figured out as soon as you click the alt key on your keyboard why ever this is I have no idea maybe somebody can explain me that I don't know why it is but apparently it stops our painting loop which is actually causing the trouble for a moment and it shows uh, this color dialog so and it works apparently to change the color but whenever I click on it I have a um, disabled uh, picture this would also happen if I just create a message box or whatever dialog um, I would use it simply puts it in the background somehow and the reason why is yeah, whatever, why ever this, this um, alt key trick works, I don't know, but we still would like to fix this. So apparently the on paint method, when it's painting itself over and over, it instantly puts that dialogue in the background, but the dialogue um, by nature also puts the whole form into a disabled mode. And yeah, uh, it's not uh, how we want this whole thing. To work and therefore we need to stop this loop this on paint loop and it's as soon as it's being painted at the very end it's always invalidating itself and so it's repainting invalidating repainting so we need to stop this somewhere and I'm gonna do this with a private rule which I call uh, invalidating and it should invalidate in the standard and so I call this true and now down in the unpaint method this invalidate it should only do it if this one is set to true and let's just move it up here and once I show such a dialog or a message box or whatever, I simply uh, set the invalidating to false and right after it, once I'm done, I set it back to true. And here right after I have to repaint or start this loop all over again by simply calling this uh, this invalidate function which I used over there once and the whole thing starts again let's see if it works I click on properties background color and voila it shows us instantly this dialog box and yeah this was just an example for one of the dialog boxes whatever kind of dialog or, or message box uh, you would like to use with the Windows form you kind of have to stop the loop and this is the way to do that yeah, apparently it's working. Uh, so yeah, this was a short introduction of how to uh, use the Windows Forms, buttons, menu strips, whatever you would like to use uh, for the menu strip. Remember, it's important in our paint loop to always update these right after uh, the device presents the stuff. We always have to update all these buttons, whatever we, we, we want to use. And 
if we want to use dialog boxes, we have to stop the invalidate uh, function, which repaints the form, uh, and only let it do once uh, we have set it to true. And we do this by simply setting it whenever we draw such a dialog. We set it shortly to false right after back to true. And we need to restart the loop by calling this dot invalidate. So yeah, thank you for watching uh, this tutorial. In the next part, I already prepared now in our menu um, a load high map and a reset button. And this is what I would like to show in the next tutorial um, to simply load the high map, which um, gives the information for our y, uh, the y information for each of the vertices and creates already a terrain, uh, mountains, hills, valleys, and so on. Yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys.